Namaste friends. Welcome to Art and Tarot. In this channel you will find videos in which we will talk about the tarot cards. For us, for what my observation has been that every tarot card has hidden secrets, has, has hidden meanings of life. And these 78 cards are, the diff are all 78 different situations or your the stages in your life I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them <laughs> okay so in this video I'm going to talk about the eight of cups okay so let's get to the pictorial meaning of this card now this card has mixed feelings you know we see some you know someone you know who is leaving behind the eight cups or who is leaving behind some kind of an emotional connection what he had with someone as if you know like he's tired of sharing those emotions you know and which is giving him pain and which is making him tired and so he's he's finally decided to you know it's shown like he's going to the mountains you know. and whenever you are like his back is turned towards the world so there are many things which you have to understand in this card is there are good meanings there are like bad meanings or I should say like there are pros and cons of this card the pros is you know like finally you know like you have learned your experience that that the more you are involved with emotions you get more and more tired the real the real life would be you know like where you are like like almost like a neutral when something beautiful happens in your life you enjoy it but you don't cling to it when something bad happens to you you don't loudly cry about it but to accept it calmly in your life the more you are being neutral with the situation the more you will be able to come out as a better person you will be able to deal with with that situation in a better way and mostly you know we live in extremes either we are so happy or or either we are like extremely sad or gloomy now this is what is happening with this person is like it's like we are living a life of pendulum you know either we are so happy or either we are so sad and with this person also you know like he has lived the extreme of his emotion now and now he wants to live his you know non-emotion life you know. so it's shown like he's going to the mountains it will be good for him for sure it is going to give him peace and calmness but he's just gathering another you know more energy to again go back to the you know other extreme to the emotions this is what it is telling us so what is important is like it it almost shows you know like he's running away you know he's tired and this is what you have to learn you don't have to run away you know when buddha left his house he didn't he didn't leave it you know it just happened with him when Buddha leaves his house, he's, he's not there anymore. He's done with it. But this person, what we see in the card, it might look like, you know, like he's leaving the world, you know, he's like Buddha, he's, he's leaving his things behind, you know. But the real thing is not happening because when Buddha was leaving, he, was, he could see, you know, like whatever he had, it doesn't exist. He could see, you know, like his, the whole empire was on fire. 
nothing was there and he could see you know like he's not he has nothing to do with it anymore no matter you give him all the women all the money it is not going to make any difference for Buddha but somehow he has lived with him you know like he it just is a comparison you know why I'm doing it is you know because many times we think ourselves like Buddha you know many times we think ourselves as you know we have attained to the truth but it is very temporary and this happens with every one of us that there are glimpses of light coming to us but again there will be cloud and it will be covered the light will stop coming this is important because these are the moments of awakening but yes that doesn't mean you know like you give up but you just have to be aware in those moments as much as possible don't try to just walk away from things just like that try to deal with them try to be neutral see whatever you have done in the past but whether you have sown the seeds of good things or whether you have sown the seeds of bad things somehow it affects your life it comes to you in some or the other way I mean if it is already there just don't run away from it I guess accept it when you accept it you have lived it and you will be over it and all you have to learn is not to do it anymore that is what life teaches you that is what you have to learn from your experiences okay so it shows like he is going to the mountain and it's, it's a barren mountain like there is nothing there is no greenery so he's almost he's like going into like this emptiness and this emptiness is not really helping him it is going to give him calm and make him a little silent but this is not really a silence of a green mountain this is not really a silence of a Himalaya this is not really a silence of a, of a green forest of flowering this silence looks very barren you know it's like a des desert I'm not saying like the desert silence is not good but I'm talking more in context of this person because this person is like in pendulum you know because after some time it is going he's going to again ask for those same emotions you know and I'm just trying to tell you through this card become aware if you are this person don't just go to that extreme again try to you know not give your pendulum too much of energy let it settle down in between let it relax and be neutral so that whatever things are coming to you you should be able to live it in the right way and we also see the sun and the moon together and it also shows like whether it's sun or moon we are not very clear but it shows a gloomy figure which signifies sadness and also it signifies confusion whenever a moon is shown moon energy or the moon moon's light what we see is not real because it's the light taken from the sun so we might think you know that the the light is coming from the moon but it is actually from the sun so one the per, you know you, you just have to realize this you just have to understand this you can't rely on the light of the moon because it is not going to be there I mean it the moon also signifies Maya something which is not there so the light coming from the moon this could make things make you visualize things which which doesn't exist and the card is trying to signify you is trying to give you a message be aware be more conscious and take decision out of your heart out of your intelligence so when it comes to love relationship emotions this person is tired of being in marriage or love or emotions 
so this person is going to take a break